Hi. Honestly, officer, it was like this when I got here. Damn! Oh? Look. We got entrails. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, butts, Call of Cthulhu. It's actually playable a little bit earlier than I thought it was. So, hooray! Um, and uh, let's uh, let's go insane over. Cthulhu, big fan. Oh my goodness, you should have kept swimming. Oh. The decor seems to be a bit fishy. Yeah. Locked. He yeah, I actually watched some of this in the one of the streams that the developers had, so I, I you know, this opening part is somewhat familiar, but Still, young, unsquat. No. Booyaka! Alright, so, what am I doing? Hello! Katulu! Ooh, what's this? Buy this. Yeah. Who there? What are you? Old cutters. How delightful. Watch that first step. It's the fucking netherness. Oh, bitch, no! What was that? <laughs> Alright, so... Given my excellent deductive skills, I can only assume I need to bolt cutterize this. By fate, you mean stupid curiosity and 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 just well, obviously the general desire to play the game. Then sure, look like this. I will bolt cutterize you, or I will not bolt cutterize you. Am I? You live for another day, unbolt cutterized. This ambiance, though. Hello. Damn. Y'all need some house cleaning or something. This is unsanitary for sure. At the what a putrid offering. <laughs> 
Look, I didn't cook this up. I'm trying to figure out who we need to talk to about cleaning this shit up. Cause this is disgusting. I bet you this smells. Ooh, wee! Be glad we don't have smell vision. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Okay. What do you mean? Chosen for? Why would I want to run? Who am I gonna run from? Cause I'll do it. Cause they haven't told me how to punch yet. So, is this? Okay. Let's test it out. Okay, that's. Hold on. You gotta do something. I like the music, but maybe that was a little much. A little, little munchy much. Munchy much in the funky bunch. Behold. Uh oh, the Gadio. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Should have saved one for yourself, boy. Look, I was just passing through. That couch was wet when I got here. I hate whiskey. You must be drinking the wrong kind. Hmm. My little snazzy office I have here. How delightful. What's here? The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That is courage. Well. Um, one other thing I do recall from the, um, previous, uh, the stream I'm mentioning with the, with the developers. Uh, this has an impact later on in the game. I don't know what and I'm not really gonna worry about it because Realistically, that's kind of how you do life in general if you worry about every little tiny fucking decision You know Top of the morning Just in case, copyrightification. I mean, I'm not monetized or anything, but I'm also not... Natural kinda... sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Ooh. There's a hello from the cello, you see. Who this? Then I'll be playing on my phone. I'm listening. by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh. Uh, we got skill trees and stuff. Yes. So there's most assuredly going to be a jump cut here because I'm going to be looking at all this stuff. Okay. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, Wait a may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... Uh -huh. I'm coming.
He's Sir, about as sociable as I came as I here am. on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. I mean, you could get choke slam. You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Do I Stephen give Webster, a shit? industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you what, have go mad? proof... You... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Uh -huh, uh -huh, Tell uh -huh. me all the assumptions that come to mind. Well, I have an unfair advantage because it looks very Lovecraftian, but I wouldn't know that in the game because they don't, you know... It's, what am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Vandaba. Now, the whole madness and thing, the logic and stuff, that's, that's subjective any damn way, because freaking, you, you, I'm, I'm insane any damn way, so. What happened? What do I do? What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Um... Well, that's a painting, and those are some pictures and files and stuff, and, um, she might have been insane, and she might not have been insane, um, but she couldn't have determined that, and, um, <laughs> anyway. Hmm. You must tell me. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life. And death. Why, because you didn't bother to do it while she was alive? Jackass? 
Anyway. Professional. Um. Uh, yeah. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, sure, because, yeah, but... Yeah. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Well, damn. Yeah. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Hmm. Okay. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. You must be gonna pay me a lot of money for this, you bossy bastard. Um... I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let us sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Ooh. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have he a choice. He got one little jab in right there at the end, but boy, I ought to walk out this Darkwater. door and kick your little ass. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Well, yeah, but I want to look at the rest of the stuff, too. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. No. Dark water is off the coast yeah. of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Well, that's delightful. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Hmm. Perhaps it goes. Like this. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Womp, womp, womp. Who was this? Wait, no? It was just the light. Okay. Ah. Huh. Cool. 
So, I wonder if you can find more books like that, sort of like uh, in Skyrim where you could find books and read them and help with your skills. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Well? I used to be an avid reader. Me too. I mean, that's why I know all the Lovecraft myth stuff, stories, mythos, however you want to call it. Even though Lovecraft himself was apparently a dick waffle, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Adventure! <laughs> Bye, babies. <laughs>